In the Connecting and Communicating Your Innovation Plan assignment, we are asking you to pull together all the work that you have done over the last several weeks and present your innovation plan as a cohesive uh, post or page on your website. One of the key components of that plan is your annotated bibliography. So we ask you to identify and annotate a list of books, articles, resources that you want to take a look at that um, you will be exploring as you move your uh, innovation plan forward that you want to share with your colleagues. What is an annotated bibliography? In essence, it's a list of books, articles, resources that you want to take a look at that is listed in the simple APA format, author, title, and so on and so forth. And underneath each of that ref, uh, each of those references is a one or two sentence annotation explaining what that particular book or article or resource is about. Why are we asking you to do this? Why is this important? Let me explain. In your literature review assignment, we did encourage you to um, not just look for articles to support your innovation plan, but take a look at articles and resources that will help you measure the success of your plan. And as you're looking at uh, those resources, you need to organize them and collect them and uh, be able to go back to them in an easy fashion. Research is an ongoing process, and as you're exploring your innovation ideas, as you're looking to implement, you're going to be continually going back to the literature, and you're going to be reading a variety of different books throughout this course and uh, that we recommend, and also looking at ideas that are above and beyond what we're going to be recommending. So as you start to gather all these uh, resources together, Creating a short annotation, identifying what each of those books or resources is about can save you an enormous amount of time. We are not asking you to do something we don't do ourselves. And I want to point you to some of the reasons why this is important. Let me show you a snapshot of one of my directories on my hard drive. So this is just the education directory on my hard drive. I've got a lot of resources. And if you scroll up and down in the education section, you're going to see lots of folders. And if you take a look at uh, perhaps just the learning folder, you'll then see that uh, I've got a, a variety of other resources. And let's take a look at the authentic learning folder. And in that authentic learning folder, I've got um, 11 or 12 different PDFs. Guess what? Um, if I don't annotate these in some way, shape, or form, I'm going to have to spend 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes looking at each of these resources to see whether or not it's going to be useful. The purpose of the annotation is, as you gather your um, references, as you gather resources, you need to actually incorporate some method for saving time uh, when you go back to look at them. So I've been gathering a lot of resources over the years. Um, in the past, I, I used a tool called Zotero. And uh, this is a, a, a uh, citation manager, a reference manager. And in, you know, many years ago, I started looking at the one-to-one -one initiative. And uh, within this initiative, uh, or within these resources, uh, Zotero allowed me to actually create a short annotation. So um, rather than going back to this particular post and looking at it again, or this article or, or, or book, I could simply go to my annotation here to see what this is about. Alan November on the $1,000 pencil. Hmm, what is that one about? Well, I have an explanation. So these are annotations. Okay, these annotations can save me a significant amount of time. I can take a look at, in my own words, what this article or post is about, and then I, I can actually see where, whether or not I'm going to use it. I I have also used a tool called Evernote. So um, the whole notion of authentic learning, for example, that I showed you in my directory structure, well, Evernote also allows me to sort of organize these ideas. And here's an interesting article back from um, December 14th, 2016. Simple thinking in a complex world is a recipe for disaster. Uh, it's part of, it was a post. I have the URL. And then I, I have some information where I summarize some of the ideas from the post. So Doing this allows me to organize information um, so that when I go back to use this at a later date, I can save myself some time. The annotation is for you. As you do research, as you collect ideas, as you collect resources, you want to actually make it easier for yourself to go back. Now, what does that look like in terms of this assignment? 
So the annotated bibliography um, that you need to share in your innovation plan is one more link or one more page or post on your plan. And uh, your innovation plan will have your uh, your overview video. It'll have a, a short uh, paragraph uh, explaining that. It'll have a paragraph uh, explaining your innovation proposal, link to the innovation proposal. It'll have a paragraph or a sentence or two explaining literature review, link to literature review. And it'll have another sentence or two explaining the, in the imp implementation outline and have a link to that as well. And then at the end, you're going to have a link to your annotated bibliography where you point to what's on your reading list, where you point to what you're looking to include. Um, and, it, it, and it might be in the form of a um, uh, a Google Doc that you actually have attached to uh, your website. So it can be incorporated in this particular way. It generally is a separate post. Uh, here's another example. Um, this student had similar a, a video links to different resources and she called hers the resources and readings list and in this particular case when i click on that particular link um it's it's an it's a part of the web page here it starts with a reference um, a sentence or two annotation another reference sentence or two an, uh, annotation um, this particular student is pointing to different things that she's um, using currently or looking to explore further uh, in the work that she's doing um, and looking at some of the work in other courses that is going to be important. Um, ideally, your annotated bibliography should point to resources that you want to look at. You don't have to annotate all the resources that you had included before. This is looking at building on uh, what you have. Uh, it, um, here's another example. So, um, overview video, a short description, links, 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 um, and then continue learning. And then I think in this one, um, it goes to a uh, Google Doc. Okay, so there's a uh, the reference and then annotation, reference, annotation. So all these are articles or posts or, or books that this student is going to be looking at that are above and beyond what we're asking um, her to look at. In this particular example, um, again, video, Summary, link to the innovation proposal. Summary, link to the literature review. Summary, link to the innovation plan. And then a, a short summary and a uh, link to the um, annotated bibliography list. So again, many examples um, uh, that you can take a look at within so the examples will, page will point to a variety of different ways that this annotated bibliography can be incorporated. Uh, the key thing that you want to remember is that this is for you. It is a uh, APA formatted reference list that has a sentence or two explanation. It should be a separate document. It should be a separate link. Uh, well, whether it's a separate document or a link to a page or a post doesn't really matter, but it, it, it shouldn't just be tacked on to the end of your innovation plan. It should be linked to that. Um, and we want to encourage you to get in the habit of using an annotated bibliography as you continue your research in the ADL program, as well as uh, as you continue to work in researching a variety of other things.